What's up guys, Gabriel Varga here. Today I've got four tips for you to practice your speed so you can punch faster. Now, I know a lot of people are in lockdown right now. You can't work with pad holders, you can't work with trainers, but you can always work on your speed. So instead of, you know, uh, punching like that, that's your max speed, we want you blasting those shots off. So that's what we're working on today. So maybe you guys are in the same situation I am in right now. The gyms are closed down. We're not allowed group classes. You're at home. You're like, huh, what do I do to stay in shape? What do I work on? How am I going to improve during this time? Well, I'll tell you what, speed is always something we can work on solo. We don't need a training partner. And it's just one of those things you have to rep and rep and rep over and over. I mean, just that in itself will definitely help you get that twitch muscle speed up. But we're gonna look in a little bit more detail at four things you can do to really work increasing that speed. All right guys, tip number one, utilize hand weights. Now this is just something that was left on the property. There was about 30 of these and they're perfect for a hand weight. I haven't actually measured it out yet, but judging on my normal weights that I have around as well, this is probably a two to three pound weight. Doesn't look like it, but it's solid steel. So it is decently heavy. Now. What I'm gonna do with this, if I wanna work off my back hand, normally I'd just be snapping there and back. And I know a lot of people are opposed to hand weights with the idea that you get sloppy. Your hand starts dropping because your shoulders fatigue and you get used to holding your hands down here. Well, just don't let that happen. I always keep my hands up here when I shadow box with hand weights. But what I can do to work increasing the speed is just set my weight get my hand out and straight back as fast as I possibly can. Now we wanna be very cautious that we don't clip ourselves in the cheek. So pull it back just a little bit away so you don't make any mistakes. And instead of me just sort of going, oh, my arms are heavy because I just threw you know 200 punches in a round, I'm just gonna set my weight down and I'm just going to snap as quick as I can. And just doing that over and over is gonna teach your body, oh my gosh, I gotta get faster on those twitch muscles. My body requires it for some reason. And then when I lose the weight and I go back to here and I'm going, pum, pum, oh, I feel so fast. You feel so much quicker. So if you're trying to work on your speed, just put a hand weight in one hand and just fire it out, fire, fire it back. Other hand out back as quick as you possibly can. I'd say doing something like 20 on one arm, 20 on the other, three times through, a little break between so you're not fatiguing, that's perfect. You don't need to do any more than that in my opinion. Now tip number two is to relax and that's especially difficult when you're holding a hand weight. But I want you guys to remember, there's a difference between squeezing your hand and squeezing all the muscles in your arm. So when I set into my stance and I'm trying to throw my cross out as fast as I possibly can, if my arm is tense right here and I go to punch, I feel very slow. I don't know if that looks slow, but it feels really slow because that tension there, it's just like an electric car versus a combustion engine car. The electric car just takes off like that. The combustion engine slowly pumps the gas to the engine and then takes off, but the electric car is gone. Same idea here. If I'm tense and I go to throw, I'm so much slower than the loose arm where I'm just snapping. Now you don't want everything to be loose because then you hit and your hand breaks. So it's learning to keep that hand tense while everything else stays loose. And like I said, that's why I really like the hand weight because I have to practice specifically letting my arm relax but maintaining the weight so it doesn't fly out of my hand as I punch. But you can do this with a weight or without a weight. You just set yourself up. Don't keep your hands open. Keep your hands closed. Keep some tension there. You can get something really small like a pencil even just a little pencil that you squeeze and just hold it there so you know it's not flying out of your hand and everything else stays loose but your hand stays tight. Relaxing. Relaxing is going to make you so much quicker. So be very cognitive of what your body's doing. There should be some tension in certain areas but definitely not tension throughout your entire body and especially not through your arms all the time. All right guys, tip number three is get yourself a resistance band. I love these things. They're so easy to utilize, especially if you're at home by yourself, you just stick it behind your back. And from there, I'm just gonna hook my thumbs on the inside. I'm gonna leave my fingers, the other four fingers on the outside. I hoist it up nice and high like we talked about before. If it's down here, my hands are gonna naturally get pulled down. So I just get it up to that upper back here. So now I can just hold my hands up 
and there's nothing dragging me down. But there is gonna be massive resistance as I throw outwards. Now the punch will start very quickly because there's not too much resistance here and it'll get harder and harder, but I think that's okay. I know some people argue that resistance bands are not good because you want to have the resistance at the beginning and have everything loosen at the end. But I've used these before and I have no trouble. I've never gone, oh, that was a waste of my time. It's a good shoulder burnout and it challenges those twitch muscles to just move under a little bit of duress, a little bit slower, which is perfect if we're trying to make our punches faster. Now, again, we wanna close those fists up. We don't wanna leave them wide open. I close the fist up, not enough that I'm squeezing my arms, but enough that my hands are not gonna fall open. The band's gonna you know, pull on my thumb. And then again, from there, I can just move myself around and I can fire my hand out. And as soon as I get rid of the band, I feel so much quicker. And it's just like throwing punches with an extra, I don't know, 20 to 40% resistance. This band is not exceptionally tight. I can stretch out that distance quite easy. I would suggest keeping a very light resistance band. You don't need something that as soon as you tug on it, it's like, oh, it's so hard to move. I think that's too slow. And you're just gonna end up practicing slow techniques just add a tiny bit of resistance and guys my final tip and this one seems super self-explanatory is just punch faster all the time and I do this constantly in drills so let me give you guys a drill so you understand what I'm talking about instead of just getting to the point where I'm standing here I'm throwing single shots as fast as I can with a weight with a band I'm just gonna practice Almost like Manny Pacquiao, when you see him punching, he's just doing really fast, short, explosive shots. Now, unfortunately, you guys are not gonna get a demo today because I have a bit of an injury and I just got IMS in it hours ago and this arm is lit up. It's so sore to even extend out. But I just want you to imagine if I was using two hands, not just the one, where instead of going like this, I'm just firing one arm out and just building up that fatigue there as I continue to punch fast. And that's the key. When you start fatiguing, you can't ease off. You can't be going pop, pop, pop. And then you start going, oh, I'm tired. Because now you're teaching your body that that's enough. And we don't need to build those twitch muscles to increase that speed. So for myself, what I like to do is I like to set my weight, something very simple, like rolling uppercuts or straight punches. And I'll just do them for let's say five, 10 seconds as quick as I possibly can. And remember, there is a difference between 95 and 100. So I'm gonna try this out here, see if I can do this without aggravating my arm. I wouldn't throw uppercuts like this. That's not how I throw them. I would be going one, two, three, but if we're just working the twitch muscles and we're just trying to get those arms rolling under speed, I can just pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> and just try to get those arms going as fast as I can. 10 seconds on, maybe 20 seconds off for a nice full recovery. Maybe do it five times. You will get faster if you utilize these four drills. They're the type of drills I've been using for my whole career and I think they really work. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. A little step away from the breakdowns I've been doing. I will be back with lots of videos very soon. If you enjoyed this one, give it a like, get subscribed. As always, train hard and I will see you back here soon for another video.